Well, belonging to an Indian family, uh, was an Irish man was set on fire in the small town in Northern Ireland in an attack that the local police are now treating as a racial hate crime. Here's a report. This is all that remains of this four-wheeler, which belongs to cardiac nurse Subi Philip, an Indian living in Northern Ireland for the past one decade. In what is believed to be a racial attack, Subi's car was torched in the premises of her residence, also resulting in internal damage to her house. Two daughters were at their house when arsonists attacked in the early hours of Friday morning. They set their car on fire which also damaged their house internally. Subi is now living at a friend's house while the cops have appealed for witnesses to come forward. They are treating this as a racial attack and are treating it with utmost seriousness. Subi's friends and neighbours have started a social media campaign to help Subi financially. That we raised money in this campaign around the slogan, let's buy Subi Philip a new car. But the campaign isn't about getting a new car. It's about raising money, raising awareness and reaching out to migrant families around Northern Ireland and letting them know that this is a place where it is safe and welcoming. This incident has managed to create ripples in the Indian community living in the neighbourhood. Local councillors told Times Now that the incident has brought a disgrace to the local community. One of the councillors we spoke to, Tim Montgomery, told us that the people in the area are very shocked and that they value the Indian community and their contribution to Northern Ireland. Although there has been a cross-community condemnation of the incident, this is not the first time Northern Ireland has seen such racial attacks. Subi's husband is in India to attend the funeral of his father, which is when the incident has taken place. But the local community hopes that some money that they have collected will bring comfort to this grief-stricken family. In UK, Danish Khan for Times Now.